Good morning to you. It's nice to see you. Is, I mean, it's now the Good right morning. time for a general election. It's not what the country actually needs, is it? It absolutely is. Um, first of all, we see a very divided Conservative Party who can't pr provide the stability we need. You know, we're only going to get the economic help to millions of struggling families and pensioners and businesses if we have political stability to be able to implement an economic plan to help our country. And the Conservative Party has shown they can't. We had Liz Truss trashing the economy. Before her, we had uh, the... Conservative MP saying they didn't have confidence in Boris Johnson because of his law-breaking and, and deceit. Uh, they've shown they're not fit to govern our country, so they have to go. And if they went in a general election, the British people could have their say. And then I think we could have the political stability we need. I mean, the, the, we could argue against all those indiv individual points you made, and a lot of our viewers and listeners would want me to. However, I'm not going to because we, 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 know, we know where we are with all of that. However, there is an argument to be said, isn't there, that actually at a time when we really are struggling, we need that bit of stability. Now, a general election, if there was one, hell, one announced any time now is not going to bring that stability till after Christmas. Surely it would take months to get this organised. This, and I, I would repeat my point, it isn't the time for that. Well, before a general election, we would need in Parliament to put forward a sort of emergency package to make sure people who are struggling with their energy bills, uh, struggling with their mortgages, can have some reassurance. I accept that. There has to be an agreement cross-party about what needs to be done to give that economic stability in the short term. That can be done really quickly. There's quite a lot of agreement, actually, uh, in the opposition parties on one or two, two measures at least. Get that done. Get that economic stability. And then, because the Conservative Party, I think, is the barrier to good governments now, because they're so divided, because they're shambolic, then I think we do need them out of the way. Uh, and if we have them out of the way, we could have a fresh start. Liberal Democrats have been putting forward our positive agenda. Um, when we've had chance to put that to people in party by elections the last 16 months, we won three, we beat the Tories in their heartland seats in, in places like Chesham Amersham in True Blue Buckinghamshire, in North Shropshire, seat the Tories for health for 200 years. In East Devon, we beat them, overturning the largest majority ever overturned in a by-election. And then, of course, the local elections last May, it was Liberal Democrats across the UK who had the best results. So, you know, we are ready for that uh, election and to put forward our positive plan. I wanted to bring you an email from our viewer, David. David says, well, of course, Keir Starmer and the Lib Dems are demanding a general election, but what governmental experience can they actually bring? Absolutely none. David says it would be very dangerous. And he's got a point, hasn't he, Ed Davey? Well, I was Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change, and my policy support in tens of billions of pounds of investment we quadrupled Britain's renewable power, for example. We made us the world leader in offshore wind. We brought down the, the cost of renewable power, so it's now the cheapest form of power, so we're more secure uh, and it's more affordable for people. Uh, and I did that over three years in the Cabinet. So I, I, I do respect your, listener, your viewer, David, but I do have that experience, and it was a very successful experience. Um, and, you know, I, I'm very, very keen to put forward that Liberal Democrat uh, agenda. Just a year ago, for example, um, Liberal Democrats under my leadership put forward the proposal for a windfall tax on the record unexpected profits of the oil and gas companies, only being made because President Putin is killing innocent Ukrainians. And I made the moral case and the fair case that we should tax those profits so we could uh, provide the money in a responsible way, an affordable way, to cut people's energy bills and to help businesses with their energy costs. That sort of fair approach was also responsible. Um, the problem we saw with Liz Truss's approach was she was borrowing all the money and that led to people's mortgages going up. So I think the Liberal Democrat plan uh, is a fair plan and it's a responsible plan. Uh, and I think the more people hear that, the more they will move to us. In fact, we're finding lots of lifelong Conservatives switching to the Liberal Democrats um, because they think the Conservatives have taken them for granted, have lost their way, are out of touch, and they like our, our fair deal. But what people...